Cursor has really paved the way for developers and even companies by introducing new and awesome AI tools to elevate your developer experience. Now, with the introduction of Composer, it gave the ability to developers to make multi-file edits, execute commands, and much more. It's actually a fork of VS Code, and you may wonder, what has Microsoft been up to with VS Code? Have they really elevated their platform, their IDE, to correlate with more AI related tools? Well, Microsoft has actually been doing a lot and they've basically pushed out a lot of great updates under the hood where they recently have introduced a new collaboration with GitHub Copilot being integrated within VS Code with code editing across multiple files, adding code bases for context, chatting with your code, autonomous file edits, and much more. They've also enabled you the use case of many of these listed models for free, which is quite awesome as you can now use something like GPT-4 Omni completely for free without running into any limits. On top of this, they've also enabled it so that you can actually access the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet within the Copilot. All of this makes VS Code a great AI powered code editor that has free options, but with its premium options that lets you access the Copilot, it is $10 cheaper a month versus Cursor, which is $20 a month. And on top of this, you can access something like the AI toolkit within VS Code, which is completely free. Now, VS Code's AI toolkit has always been around but they released major updates which has basically enhanced it even further where you can explore top generative AI models directly within the model catalog without paying for anything. You can access GPT-4 Omni completely for free and you even have a model playground which supports multimodal experimentation and it enables you to test text, images, and even audio based models all in one place. Now this is just one small little thing that makes VS Code even better but having it uh, coupled with something like the GitHub Copilot makes it a really valuable tool that is exactly the same thing as the Composer and even better in many other places. So how can we get started? Well, obviously you need to have VS Code installed as your IDE. You need to have the AI Toolkit extension so that you can access various models within their catalog as well as the GitHub Copilot, which is now fully integrated within VS Code. So once you have these three installed, you can simply open up VS Code. Now I'm gonna be showcasing this again so that it's easier for you to get started. So simply open up VS Code. What I'm gonna do now is simply click on creating a new window. Once I've done that, go over to the extension tab and what you can do here is search up the AI toolkit. So you can simply go over by searching up the AI toolkit within the extension store. You can see that it's the first one over here and you can simply click on it and click on install. And once it has finished installing, you're gonna be able to see it on the left hand sidebar. So this will take a couple of seconds and you will be able to access it over here. And once it has finished installing, you can see that it will appear on your sidebar. This is where you can access all your models. They have 55 models hosted with different providers from GitHub all the way to ONNX. This is where you can access models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini, as well as the GPT models. Now you also have the ability to play around with multiple models within their playground. You have the ability to fine tune them and then you can obviously get help and feedback within this section. And just to clarify, you can access the GPT-4 Omni as well as the GPT-4 Mini models by simply signing into GitHub and you're going to be able to access them as a remote model. You can also access many of these other providers by simply providing an API key. For example, if you want to use the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, you'd simply want to provide your API key. And in the same manner, you would do the same for Gemini. And that's essentially how you would be capable of accessing many of these different providers, either by signing into your GitHub account or by providing an API key for your provider. But now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going ahead and testing out these local models where we can access many of these local models like 5.3 and it will essentially allow you to easily access many of these open source models that are quite small but powerful in their own specific 
criteria. For example, you can access the 5.3 vision model, the mini model. So I'm going to go ahead, select the model that I think would be best for coding based tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and install the 5.3 mini 128K context uh, length. And you can see that the progress is being made in terms of installing this. And we can see that it is installing this local model for me. And I'll soon be able to access it within the playground where we can start chatting with it. So I'm going to go ahead and wait this out until it finishes installing. And there we go. It is finally installed. And then we can go over to the playground and then access this 5.3 local model. So in this case, we can go ahead and start chatting with it. You can give it a context instruction. You can change things like the inference parameters, temperature, and whatnot. But now what we can do is ask it questions. So we can go ahead and start chatting with it. So let's start off with something basic. I'm going to request it to generate an array. And we can see it does so in JavaScript, Python, in Java, as well as C++. And these are just examples of what it was capable of doing. But essentially, you can see how streamlined this whole process is, as in you can chat with whatever model that you would want within your IDE, and in this case, VS Code. And you can then go over to something like GitHub Copilot. And this is where this leads to the next part of this video, where you can have this AI pair programmer installed, and you can simply get the same functionalities that you would with Composer, where you can edit multiple files, make changes to your code base, autonomously generate code for you, and much more. This is where you can have this extension combined with the AI toolkit where you have the ability to chat with whatever model that you would want and have the best results then being integrated within whatever you're trying to generate in regards to code. So let's try something fun. Let's ask it to create a chatbot that is similar to ChatGPT. So we can see that we can send over a prompt, but it also says that you can add context. So if you have a code base, you can provide the context. But now we can see that it is going to install the required packages for us as well, setting up the basic chat interface. It's going to initialize the model and the tokenizer, create response generation function, and even implement a chat loop. Now, this is essentially the same sort of functionality that you would get with the composer, but even better now as it comes with a cheaper price and you can access something like the AI toolkit to ask questions to a model that is local rather than something that is remote. So I have went along and I've applied the code that I has generated into a new Python file and it has now told me to then run the script. So let's go ahead and run it to see if it's functional. So I've made changes to the code as in I've applied it and then I it had basically requested me to install the packages and I did that by just simply running the Python file and you can see that it is installing anything that is necessary. And now I can practically install and utilize this. And you can see that it has now initialized this chatbot. So you can see that the chatbot has now been created, but I'm gonna go ahead and add an interface to it and front end interface so that it is a bit more appealing. And just look at that. This is the AI chatbot that it was capable of generating. You can ask it questions saying, how are you? I don't know why I said, how are you? I should have said hi. And you can see it is a functional chatbot that I was capable of creating by simply just sending in a prompt to the GitHub Copilot. It created all the necessary scripts and you can see that I was just able to simply add it in by right clicking or sorry, clicking on the three dots and then pasting or inserting into a new file. You add it into the chatbot folder that you create and you're gonna be able to then access this by uh, playing the or clicking on this play button which will open up the application on your local host and that's how I was essentially able to create this chatbot within a couple of seconds. In conclusion the VS Code AI toolkit having it combined with something like the GitHub Copilot is a game changer and it is definitely something that will greatly elevate your developer experience when you're coding as you have a model catalog that you can access with the AI toolkit and a model playground which gives you a robust environment for you to explore, experiment, and refine various sorts of code generation with. But I'll leave all the links in the description below. In my opinion, this is a great new alternative to Cursor and in my opinion, it does outpace it as it's cheaper and a little bit more streamlined. But 
with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching follow me on twitter so that you can access different ai news completely for free follow me on the patreon so that you can access subscriptions to ai tools completely for free and follow me on the youtube by turning on the notification bell subscribing liking this video and commenting and checking out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of ai but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys really shortly peace out fellas